This is the fastest way to make zoom, spin, and slide transitions. Now the actual fastest way is using the ultimate effects pack linked in the description down below. With its drag and drop design, you can add transitions in seconds. First things first, we have a transition right here. Go to the center of your transition by clicking up or down on your arrow keys. Now just go a couple of frames in either direction. I'm going to hold shift and the left arrow key twice. That'll jump me 10 frames. I'm going to click C on the keyboard and make a cut. Go back to the middle, hold shift, right arrow key twice. That'll jump me 10 frames. Now I've created that little transition right there. Right click on both of those clips and select nest. As soon as we nest that clip, you'll see it put these two clips together. Right click on it and select replace with After Effects composition. Once After Effects opens, click S to bring up scale and change this to 50. Go to effects and presets and type in CC Repetile. Drag that onto your clip. Change all these settings to at least 1000. You can copy that and then just paste it to all of the rest. Change tiling to unfold. Now simply file, save, and close After Effects. Now back in Premiere, you'll see that we have this fun little tile effect. Now all we have to do is drag on transform onto that clip and we can start to manipulate this. For starters, change the scale to 200. Let's start with something simple like a sliding transition. Go to the beginning of this transition and click toggle animation button under position and let's keep it at default. Now scroll till you see the transition change and then go one frame backwards and let's pick a direction that we want to go to. For in this case, let's go to the right. I'm going to drag the X value until I go a little bit right off the screen. And then I'm going to go one frame forward. And since we're going right, we actually need to drag this back to the left past our mirror point, And then our keyframe will automatically be applied. Click somewhere towards the end and let's click reset because that'll reset that parameter. Drag that keyframe out to the end and shift highlight the rest so that everything selected, right click, temporal interpolation, Bezier. Now, if you play through that, you'll see that we've created a quick and seamless sliding transition. If you like motion blur, all you would have to do is uncheck use composition shutter angle and change your shutter angle to something like 180. You can also save this as a preset so you can right click transform, save as preset so that you can use this again and again. Spin transitions are also very similar and simple. Go to the beginning of your transition, click the toggle animation under rotation, and go toward the middle right where the transition happens. You can either go before or after in this case, and let's just change this to 180 degrees. And for instance, if we drag it up to 180, we're going clockwise. So if we change it to like 180 right there, and then go somewhere towards the end and change it to 360, that will be one full rotation. Drag that out to the end, shift click the rest of them, and right click Bezier. You'll instantly see that if we play through this, it's a linear motion. And we don't really want that. We want to add some spice to this. So click on our first keyframe, click and drag that line out so it's above horizon. And you can make this a little bit bigger if you want so you can see things. And then click the end keyframe, but you'll see we don't have a line there. So just drag that out one frame and then you'll be able to manipulate that line. You can also manipulate this middle line so that we have a smooth graph like this and play this back we have a perfect spin transition. Again, you can right click on that transform property and save it as a preset. And I'll show you how to do a zoom transition on this last clip right here. I'll probably zoom out. So let's go to the center of the clip, shift click, left arrow key twice, boom, boom. Go to the center, right arrow key holding shift twice, so that'll jump me 10 frames, highlight both, right click, nest. Right click on that nested clip, replace with After Effects composition. Click on your video in the timeline, click S, type 50 to change that scale, and let's go to effects and presets and type in CC Repetile. Drag that on there, change these all to 1000, copy it and paste it on the rest. And then change tiling to unfold. And then file, save. Close After Effects. Back in Premiere, you'll see that our transition has been tiled. Type in transform under effects and drag that on. Head down to the transform under effects controls and change the scale to 200. Now we want to zoom. So let's say we want to zoom out. Go to the very beginning and add a keyframe on scale. And let's go right before the transition changes, one keyframe before. And then let's pull our scale back a little bit. That looks fine. Go 
forward one keyframe. And since we're zooming out, we actually need to zoom into our subject a little bit. So a little over 200%. And then let's go back towards the end a little bit and change this back to our default, which in this case is 200. Highlight all your keyframes, right click, Bezier, and drag that ending keyframe out to the end. If we play this back, we have a nice little zoom, but we have a little bumping going on that doesn't really look the greatest. So let's adjust our keyframes. Click this drop down arrow, move our ending keyframe up one so we can see our frames. Now we need to adjust this graph. So I like to drag this out nice and wide so I can see what's going on. Let's drag this all the way out just so it's just at horizon, but it doesn't go above. And let's drag this one like that. So it kind of like ramps up. And then let's drag this one out all the way above horizon and drag it like that. So now if we play this back, you'll see we have a perfect little quick zoom transition, but it doesn't look so good because there's no motion blur. Uncheck use composition shutter angle and change our shutter angle to like 180. Now if we play this back, we have a very seamless, quick and easy zoom transition. Feel free to modify all these keyframes as you wish, but once you make a couple of these, just right click, save it as a preset, zoom out, and make sure scale is selected so that whenever you change this length, it will be easy to remember. Now when I do this particular process, I can go to my zoom out preset right here and drag that onto my transition point, and I have a quick and easy transition. Well, I surely think this process is faster than the old way of doing it, but you'll have to let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe for more videos because I'm gonna be making some more stuff in the future. As always, I'll see you guys next time.